Hello, hi, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, user here to see some Cursor Strad. Sad news, there will be no Cursor Strad. We've had a bit of a hard time getting a hold of the DM, so we are kind of, you know, filling up now. So, what we've done? Well, I've enlisted the help of a friend of mine, a DM, Eric Chud, from a server that we play on. Now, the server is called Adventure On. What is Adventure On? Well, Adventure On looks a little something like this. As we can see here, we have the logo and we have the mascot. Now, what exactly is it? Well, it's a server of over 700 people, DMs and players, all alike. And what do we do here? Well, we simply play D&D. &D. Now, we are from all over the world, and as you can see, it's active. How active? Well, we got chats from people all over the world at different times. And you got games at almost every day. You can see here, we have our beautiful list of games that would probably be better over on this uh, over on that side of the screen but you know who cares anyway multiple games over multiple days tuesdays thursdays nothing here nothing here nothing here but you know people will be posting games it is however only sunday ladies and gentlemen and you can even get the schedule of all the games just in case you want to see what's being played there are also play by post if that is your thing they are welcome to all dms and all players around so why don't you get yourself into adventure on there's going to be a link below play enjoy maybe you'll see me maybe you'll see eric who knows but ladies and gentlemen until that time adventure on in dm eric chud proudly present dragon of the endless dark i'm nice. listening behind this door sir you need me to make any rolls or checks there sir no you see a couple of doors absolutely i'm listening Let's see if there's maybe anything behind this door. Perception check, please. We oui, be oui, coming right up. Perception. I'm only half proficient in that. Ooh. You don't hear anything. I'm up. Ramesh gets up. And he says, I can't believe you just slaughtered these poor people. I mean, they attacked us first. They're, they've, but they've been... They've been... They've been corrupted by this... By an evil force, I don't quite understand it, but... <sighs> and we have cleansed them of their corruption. I mean, yeah. that was kind of obvious. But, uh, unfortunately, in the case where someone attacks you... Self-defense! I, I, don't, I don't really like getting hit, and when I get hit, I hit back. I'm gonna open this you get door. what I mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah, my, my butt um, uh, <laughs> is proof of that. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean... You don't need to understand, you just need to say thank you. Uh, they weren't going to hurt me, they were going to let me do my ritual up at the top. You can still do your ritual, no one's stopping you. He's clutching his knapsack around his chest. By the way, what is your ritual? I'm very interested. Yeah, not you mention it. Make a... Who's asking? Uh, Kelly. Kelly. Make a, uh, make a persuasion ah. check for me, please. Uh, I love being charismatic. Oh, damn! Oh, he's I into love, it. I love, he says, I love well, being charismatic. I've got a. Oh, I, I came into a. Came into possession of a, 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 a special artifact that can only be used at the top of the all tree where, where two dimensions meet. There are two planes meet at the top of this tree, you see. You mean the Feywild? Oh, What's that? Do you mean the Feywild? Oh, I don't know if it's the Feywild, but I know there's... The, the way it works is, um... The All Tree... And he gets... He takes his glasses off, he polishes them, he puts it back on, and he kind of gets all studious looking. And he says... Uh, he's got the reset look right now. The reset look. I get that look sometimes. He says the uh, the all tree is is a is a powerful living artifact all on its own, and 
for for many 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 millennia the the elves here tended the all tree and made sure it was safe and sound because what it is it is um it acts as a shield between good and evil yes two dimensions um there's 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 a thin spot between this dimension and another right up right up at the top of the all tree and for millennia um it's been keeping something from coming through from the other side and oh. um we this 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 corruption now bear with me we got it my my research has showed that at some point the, the, the magic of the all tree has started to fail. Oh, you don't a, say. A little bit where it, the, the something hasn't broken through, but we, it's like, it's kind of like, you ever have like a vase where the, the clay is starting to crack and you'll get like a little, little drip, a little drip I, at the bottom. I, I, th I think, I, I think we all understand you know, interrupt it's... him. Yeah, let Sorry, me let me let me let me speak here. Um, so, the the weakening of the barrier has caused the corruption throughout the all tree. It's still the barrier is still holding, but it's weakening. And um, well, you know, I've there's some I've stairs here. This. Let's go up and do it. Goob, shut the fuck up. Let him speak. So I've got I've got this this skull of restoration. It's called. It's a a powerful relic. It cannot I repeat. It cannot fall into the wrong hands. Um. And when when I activate this between the new moon. Um. It has the power to um. Well, it's got several things it can do. Um, the first and primary thing is it can do is it can it can grant a single wish, and I was gonna wish that that rift, that crack, was gonna be healed up and sealed again forever. Um, but the reason it can't fall into, uh, you know other hands that it can also create powerful undead creatures and has the power to resurrect long lost beings. Um, and I, I suspect if it's used incorrectly, it could actually tear that whole rift wide open. So I, that's why I'm holding on to it so tightly. I mean, I've, you know, try to keep a grip. I've, I haven't really. Stands are here. Let's go up and do it. Oh, shut up. He was finished. Shut the fuck up. He wants to do he his says, ritual. Let's help him do his fucking ritual. Get back to town says, and move. He says you're probably right, and he opens up his knack, knapsack, and he reaches in, and he says, What the fuck? Oh, fuck. And he pulls out a a stone. It's yeah. roughly skull-shaped. He says, I don't understand. I gonna... I only fell asleep for a little while. I don't... Shit! I take a big, deep breath in and look at Telly. I'm Do you pretty know sure they, can... already, they already have it. The ritual could happen tonight. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's more elves here. They're all... Mm. Could, that, big... could, that scroll, could that scroll be reverse engineered instead of restoration? It, it grants a wish. It could, wish they could duplicate. Yeah, it that's a wish. It oh, could, it can't wish. That's my. That's it my. It could thought. be yes. It could be catastrophic. It could. It could. It could open that hole wide open, and whatever's on the other side could absolutely come through. One absolutely, one hundred and ten percent. I'm fucked. You you scold me right. for trying to get him to get on with it, and you weren't even fucking listening. Look, there's look. No, there's I was listening. Then how did listening. you not know it was done a wish? Was... You sounded very surprised when I yeah. said that. I was being sarcastic. No, you because weren't. he said it grants wish. Just, just shut up for a minute. Used to restore, guys. Guys, there's 
there's something else we could do. I've been studying the all tree for, for years in preparation for this. Um, somewhere within this tree, um, there's, there's something else that, that could maybe help. Mm. Spit it yeah, out. We know what, know what it is. I gotta look it up. Hang on a second. I <laughs> gotta search my text here, guys. While you do um, that, uh, Telly's just gonna like search the bodies just to see if there are any of them in the room have the scroll. It's not a scroll. It's a skull. Oh, the sc oh. skull oh. of restoration. Yep. Yeah. So um, he thought I'm, it was a skull that he had in his knapsack. They switched it out for a stone. That's why it, 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 that makes more okay. sense to you. Yeah. Um, oh, and there's skeletons lying everywhere. So I thought it was just a weight finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> no, something. Skull, he, he's gonna. He actually says the um, man. Where is this? I always forget the name of this fucking thing. Bear with me a second while I look it up. No, oh, Paul, I'm just going to jump to the toilet. Sounds mm -hmm. good. I'm going to pee too, and then I'll look it up. Whoever that is coughing sounds like me right now. Hope she's okay. Hmm. Hope so too. Hmm. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't burn anything. It's over. No, it's okay. <laughs> hey, All right. I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back. Have any of you all? He hmm? tells you that you need to find something called the items. The stick of truth. It's close. It's the crown of thorns, I believe. Or something like that. Where the hell? Yes, the crown of thorns. He says, the crown of thorns is, is the heart of the all tree. It is hidden somewhere within this tree. And it has the power to... Uh, maybe if this ritual is underway or if the rift gets opened up, it could potentially have the power to fight against whatever evil is coming through. Um, man, I screwed up. Can't Everyone believe I fell asleep. Up. Everyone screws up sometimes. It's It was perfectly to be expected. Do not blame yourself. <sighs> You don't understand. I've done research on this for years, and I got duped. These people yeah. seem like they they treated me pretty nice and said I could do my ritual. I think they were gonna. I don't know. If, they, if, if they've been corrupted, they probably already knew about the ritual themselves. Yeah, but they I probably I, already I, knew what your intentions were. Yeah, but I brought it right to them. I think I've just brought them the key to destroy the world. It I'm happens. Such a, such yeah. a fuck up. I'm going to go and sit trust down. Me, trust me, this, this world isn't that great. Well, you don't mind. I'm just going to get as far away from this place as possible. He's like, 
he starts walking up and he's like, I'm well, just going to get do, out. Before you do, yeah. do you have any idea where this crown might be? It's somewhere within the tree. I mean, I, I, I don't really know. Um, there's a picture of it in a book. I'd start, I'd start getting. Yeah, if he starts you've getting. Only he, he goes and he's like, he goes and he fucks right off. His use as a plot device has ended. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he has lost all plot value. Moving on. Quick. How are we guys doing? Points. How are we doing on time and awakeness, people? I'm very good. I have literally nothing else going on. All right, just want to make sure because I'm still fresh as a daisy, but I know you guys are up late. I don't know what time it is there, but one thirty-seven in the morning. Everybody's still oh, doing good. Forty-seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right, we played till um, five a.m. on Sundays, man. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> searching the bodies. What do you find? You find. Um. They'd have to respring the recording because once I started doing the um, once I started doing screen share for RJ, like it was just like ah yes, do you know what I'm gonna do? Fucking overload. You are a, you're an RPX thirty eighty Ti. You don't overload. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Now. I don't this body. You mm -hmm. find a a a steel key. Oh my god. Ooh. Maybe that will that will open the, that steel door that we couldn't open before. Mm, I, I, I reckon it probably will. As the person that tried to kick it in, would you like the honors of opening it? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, you do find a steel key on on her person. Um, this is a one-shot. You find all kinds of... You find 40 million gold pieces because gold is <laughs> worth it in a one-shot. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are... There's a door to the north. There's a door to the um, to the east. The door to the north goes into a hallway. The door to the east goes to stairs that go upwards. Bye, RJ. Bye. Mm. Bye. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to hand Sandra the key. Then feel free to open it. Okay. I'm going to go and open the door. I ended the combat, right? Yeah, you guys have free movement. I'm going to follow to see what's in the door. Go up your friends left. You think they're going to go do some naughty stuff together because that's already canon. I mean, he's going to go, yep. go yeah, watch. It's basically, go canon. Watch. basically canon anytime these two play because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, or if uh, or Vex and uh, King. Cassandra, the key does indeed fit the door. Yay! You can try opening it again. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, fancy. This mm. is fascinating. I'm immediately going to go over and start analyzing all this, try and, fig try and figure out what it is. And what okay. It's doing. The temperature drops to freezing as you enter this room, and your breath comes in puffs of little clouds. Hmm. Orange liquid bubbles in an alembic set atop a long workbench made of splintered wood. Journals scrawled in an elvish script lie next to empty glass vials scattered on every flat surface. A large leather cloak hangs in a corner from a hook in the ceiling. Um, it's some kind of lab. Hmm. Can I figure out what this, like, these, like, weird things are doing? Some kind of alchemical stuff. You see... Um... There's an open notebook right next to it. Hmm. I'm going to take a glance at the notebook. Can you read Elvish? Nope. 
Goob. Uh huh. Uh, your assistance is needed, please. Uh huh. Don't worry, we're decent. I'm in the same room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't see I'm... you there. You were behind the table. You're, you're too small. <laughs> Reading the notes, <laughs> you, you see that an oh. alchemist has been busy at work on trying to formulate some kind of potion. Hmm. The goal is to create a compound that dissolves easily and imperceptibly in water and create a potion that increases aggression and grants the drinker superhuman strength. According to the notes so far, they have met with failure. Um, is the base trying, trying in to there? make liquid rage by the sound of it? Is the batch there are, in there? Uh, is that like any notes on that particular batch? There's um there's a couple of vials of what looks like completed potions standing next to it. Any notes on said potions? Uh The notes say the the, the next um the next batch is ready for testing. Take the potions. Okay, Is that got, uh, toxic? You've got three mystery potions. These are toxic. They're trying to do something, and everything seems to be failures. These are untested, what so therefore probably toxic. What is it they're trying to create exactly? Um, not trying to make like giant strength portions but it doesn't look like they really have any giants to make the portions with and so they are mixing and concocting things i'm just gonna like slowly look to cassandra and just be like giants i speak giant yes you know how mm -hmm. to make portions of like hill giant strength and frost giant strength, then yes. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, the notes also say that increased, <laughs> increased aggression. Also, isn't increased aggression in bad good? Sure, mm. you think you think it's great. <laughs> um, so again, so outside of that, you also notice. Um, I mean, you do yeah. notice. Um, there's one other potion vial that is, um, well, make a perception check, Telly, since you're checking all this stuff out. Oh, perception. I'm like incredible at this, as we already know. Better than my other rolls. Oh, that's better than a 10. You're good there. There's nice. one other potion vial that is sitting apart from the others. It's in Elvish script. There's a word there. It says something next to it. And you notice that the sides of that potion are still wet. There's Elvish script on the side of the potion that you can't read, but maybe Gob can. Oof. Oh, that tells in Sylvan. It says that it says in Wood Elf or ancient Wood Elf. The script mm. reads invisibility. You notice that there's the outside of the vial is still wet. Like maybe it's been drunk recently. Oh shit. It's a half drinking portion. Um, oh, it's fully drunk. There's maybe oh. a couple drops at the bottom. It's not dried out though, you know what I mean? Uh no, yeah. It's, um, that's probably bad. No, that's not just probably bad. That's very, very bad. I didn't tell you what it is says, it... though. You just made the assumption. Oh, yeah. 
So also in this room, so you've got the the table, you've got the potions, you've got a leather cloak hanging in the corner from a hook in the ceiling. That's all you got in this room. It's probably someone running around naked right now, though. And we can't see him. Or her. I mean... Or it. I mean... I mean... Is that necessarily a bad thing, being naked? Well, tell me. Would you... Enjoy it if you all of a sudden got kicked square in the nuts. Just I mean, out of the blue, you don't see anyone, and then the next thing you know, bang. Mm, I don't mm. know. Should we try it? I can go invisible. <laughs> but you're more of a threat, Yuri. Big, strong warlock. So you know, you'd mm. you'd more than likely be kicked in the balls. I'm just a I'm just a man with a drum. In I fact, mean, in fact, I could probably tell people that, you know, we here I could say, oh, I've been taken hostage by these people. They wish to do unsavory things, and they'd probably believe me, because look at you. You get ten foot when you get angry, and. You signed your soul away to a devil. Mm, I actually, play the bongos. The devil, it was someone else. Uh, I'm going to have to quickly refresh. My thingy's just messed itself up. Gotcha. My, my sheet, it's... Because I normally put it into like a separate window, and it's just undone itself from said separate window, and now it won't let me do anything on it. Gotcha. The happens. second time that's happened. I know. I don't know what's going on with my... Uh, Stuff today. You've just done liking me. Doing it wrong. Yeah, I'm 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 just got a skill issue, you know. It's just a skill issue. Oh, it's loaded a lot faster <laughs> for this time though. Uh two doors. No. Would you like to take a look through door number one? Sure. I mean, go ahead if you would like to. You have the key to this door. It's just yeah. like you actually have got it's got a little turn on the inside. You can unlock this one no problem. The skeleton key. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one over oh, here. Well, one door at a time. Oh, I see stairs. Cassandra, mm -hmm. make a perception check. Okay. Cassandra, you get kicked screwing the balls. I don't know. <laughs> Gob, you can if you're going if you're all going towards that door, make a perception check. Absolutely. Uh, uh Yeah, mm. fuck those man. You definitely hear somebody breathing, Cassandra. It's not no, you. No. It's not okay. Gob. Can I hunch straight? Telly, you hear somebody probably... breathing too. They sound a little can panicked. I, can I try and discern where the breathing's coming from without alerting the person that knows I'm... Or sure, the... make a perception check with advantage. Okay. I'm just going to roll it twice because it doesn't like me doing the roll of advantage. Yeah. Down low to the ground, crouched. Hmm. I'm going to. Hmm. What am I going to do? Uh, I believe if I getting fainter. My. Oh, I'm. To run away. I am going to. Two, 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 two. Uh. But dang. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to do it at a disadvantage because you're attacking an unseen creature. Okay, let me just roll that again then. Oh, those are two very different numbers. You are you shooting anything? Is someone trying to get away? Yeah, there's someone trying to get away. I'm going to sprint. 
over to the door in the hopes that I can beat them there. He's going to this door, though? I don't know which door he's going to, uh, but just, like, goes to the door that was over here. I can't tell where it is. And just lock it. Just go not lock it, but, like, close it. I closed the door before I went to the stairs. So if it opens, oh, okay. you know it's okay, there. Okay, this door opens and quickly shuts again. Oh no, is it what this? whatever we, we know where it went. Do you follow? Mm. Walk over, open the door. Yeah, I will follow. Run! Yep. Ah, I see op more open doors. I think we opened those doors. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <gasps> You didn't open that door yet, though. Yeah. Whatever was in that room with you may have gotten away. You're not sure. Mm. I'm going to look in here. <laughs> As I do, because there's a lot of death and decay, do I see any footprints from, like, say, anything that ran through blood? Ran through blood? Well, we slaughtered a bugbear and a shit ton of uh, elves in a here, so... An owlbear. An owlbear, yeah. Make a, make a perception check. Take a look around. Where, from where you are right now, Gob? Yep. The combat was kind of more down, like, this area. Hmm. From where you're standing, yeah, you do see fresh footprints that are um, starting about here where the blood is. They're heading downwards towards the southern door that you came through originally. Try to... You do recall that um, Ramesh went that way. He booked out of here some time ago. You're not sure if it's his footprints or somebody else's, at least from this distance. Did we close that to door? Break. No. Oh. I'm going to try to run backwards, like to mm. maybe intercept him. Okay, you're running to intercept. I love it. Run like over here. here. Just I'm gonna stay right here at the door if he's. he's I love here. it. Um, Cassandra, take a point of inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna stand at this edge, looking around. Just Cassandra, Let's... make a perception check. <laughs> I, for some reason, can't see again. I'm going to use the, the, the inspiration. Did your, right away. did your lantern go off? I'm assuming so. All right, where are you? Never mind then. Oh, so I was I the one with the lantern. Again. Yeah, because I, I had a lantern. I am your eyes. Mm. I, I thought I we gave you a lantern. Didn't we give you your own lantern? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, may, right. have, ex may have Here. died? There you go. Your lantern probably went out from, like, time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to just uh, relight my lantern then, I guess. I'm assuming. Yeah, let, me, let me go into the dark area see if I can see it. Yep. Okay, okay. Cassandra, you don't... You, well, with a, you rolled twice. No, that's a disadvantage. You didn't hear anything. Tell her you're running down that way. Gob, what are you doing? Um... Just listen in case anything comes, you know, like, like, like to hear any, like, you know, footprints or foot, hear footprints, hear like footsteps, like any breathing, you know, from anything that may be on the balcony or if there's like maybe anything above that I may be able to hear. You're trying to, you know, in case something happens. It's, um, essentially, I suppose the word I'm looking for is like, you know, following those footprints, but knowing that shit leads around you know be pointless for me to run around because I'm going to run into Cassandra oh Cassandra somebody's trying to sneak past you 
Çok slow. I'm gonna swing at them. You feel the lightest, the lightest brush up against you right here. They're trying to move quietly, but they're uh, your seven to their seven. Their stealth was terrible. <laughs> meet it, meet it to beat it. Your perception beat their stealth. You okay, detect gonna... somebody right yeah. next to you, trying to sneak past you. Disadvantage, so... Oh, your guy's dead. <laughs> Double to 19. <laughs> A 19? Here, you can go ahead and make an attack on this person. Well, hello. Target them and do the attack, is what I'm saying. Uh, okay. So, roll again? Sure, just to see. Well, you're going to hit. Roll until you hit. Yeah, you, you strike them. You, you, something invisible brushes up against you. You strike out, and as the body dies, you see this person dead on the ground. Hold on, i got to give it a hit point so I can show you its portrait. Annoying. Found someone! Oh, I'm gonna... move towards can her. He be, can he be decapitated? <laughs> They're pretty dead. There, You've sliced them from shoulder to crotch, basically cut them right Ooh. open. Cut their dick off, just kidding. Pinky. So you, would, you would gather, <laughs> they've got like a chemical apron on. You would gather they were the alchemist. They were hiding in the room, but you cut them off by running down this way. They didn't have any way to go back. They were essentially cut off. and You have killed them. Yay. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dead men tell no tales. Dead women. We love murder. You do love murder, but you still got the alchemy room we there. We love murder and sex. What yes. are you guys doing? Why do you have to kill everything? <laughs> they could have been you asleep. Why not? Because she they doesn't have anything. Not. She's got some... I didn't know who it was. I mean, it could have been someone yeah, dangerous. I protected myself. we know. Rule we know. This man right here. Or woman. woman. I can't really tell. Ah, oh, it's a woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. This woman could have uh, easily slaughtered us all. So, Cassandra saved all of our li lives. So and what you now we're no further for now we're no further for finding the skull. Yes, thank you for. Thank you. Thank you. Can I rummage through the pockets? You rifle through her pockets. You find all kinds of weird alchemical stuff. You find some mercury. You find some alcohol that is not to be consumed by humans, you find... Ah, you take that to watch your humans. I take that alcohol. Phosphorus powder, you find some other identify unidentifiable stuff. Um, what else does she have? Let me look what else Ran Earth has. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take that alcohol and go, not to be consumed by humans. I'm not human, so it's fine. None of us are. Who wants a drink? drink? Who wants Nothing. a drink? No, I'll keep my faculties around me, thank you. I'm gonna start drinking. Oh, that's a shocker. Uh, yeah, you don't find much on her body of any use. You've got a couple unexplored rooms on this level, or one unexplored room on this level. You've got stairs going up in the alchemy room you've got a cloak hanging on a hook i'm gonna throw and... a body over the edge thunk <laughs> plop, plop, plop. a warning uh, see if we can find the skull and hopefully we don't kill anything else until we can question it please and thank you oh stop Sorry. being a boring old person Cassandra, you have nothing to be sorry for. You protected us all. From an alchemist. Alchemists are extremely dangerous, I'll have you know. They could Yeah, be. you never know. He, he went down in one punch. He was hardly dangerous. She. 
No, it's what they can create that is dangerous. Trust me. But they don't have an alchemist. What's in this room? Don't fuck with an alchemist. Ooh, here we go. You come into a paintings and murals of dazzling scenery decorate the walls of this otherwise empty room. A landscape of flowers spilling over a field of grass as green as jade covers one wall while coy elves <laughs> glance over their shoulders carrying armfuls of fruit towards the all tree. Another painting depicts an open vault, a heavy steel reinforced cement door cracked open to reveal a sliver of gleaming gold just behind it. One painting is hidden behind a splintered wooden board with rusted nails. Hmm. Which painting is that? Is it this one down here? Sure. Make a, make an arcana check. Everybody. Hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> Telekinetic. <laughs> You're looking at the paintings, and man, they're beautifully rendered. Um, they almost have like a certain like very much like almost a three dimensional quality to them. Man, it's almost as if uh, it's almost as there. if you could step right into a painting. It's so beautifully rendered. I'm going to gently just try to touch the painting. Which painting are you going to touch? Are you going to touch the landscape of flowers spilling over a field of grass as green as jade, with koi elves mm. glancing over their shoulders carrying armfuls of fruit? Are you going to touch the painting depicting an open vault, heavy, heavy steel reinforced cement door? Cracked open reveal a sliver of gleaming gold just behind it, or the other painting that is blocked off by splinter wooden boards that you can't really touch because you can't really see much of it. Mm. In that case, uh, if that one's if you can't see that one, I'm going to go over and try and figure out how to I can how I can see it. Then you could like... pry the boards off. Mm. Mm. Cassandra, could I have your assistance, please? Without issue, you're able to get the boards oh, off. Oh, I can just get it off. Okay. Yeah, I'm just tired. I'm strong. <laughs> strong. Yes. So you see, you've got you've got three murals. Um, let me see what the third mural does. The boarded up. Oh, you've got to make a strength check to pull the nails out of the wall. You look okay. Strength D or DC, DC 15 athletics. Yeah. No problem. That's going to do it. He's a barbarian. He wasn't going to feel that. I'm just, just going to like, and be like, damn, you are so strong. Behind the wooden mm -hmm. board is a blighted painting, once beautiful but now damaged by mold and vandalism can't it is possible to make out a few details you see in the painting and that painting the corrupted painting is you see uh, the left arm of what appears to be a woman in a green gown you see a narrow triangle of threaded thorns pointing towards the heavens mm. a starry night sky a missing chunk that was carved out of the wall, and a lowercase leather R. Hmm. Does there happen to be a new moon in this? Uh, painting? You don't see. You don't see a moon at all in that painting. The mm. other paintings you see. Are you going to try to? What you said you were going to touch the paintings. Hmm. This one that you just saw that took the boards off, that you touch the painting, it's ruined. You don't, it, nothing happens. Mm. 
you have the painting of the dappled forest and the vault also. Hmm. Give it a touch this one. The dappled forest? If that's this one, yeah. Sure. Doesn't he really specify as which is which. I'm just going to turn um, to Sandra and goes. He wants those quay elves. As you reach into the painting and your hand does go through, the elves' eyes turn to look straight at you. The elves speak to you in a language that you can understand. Lost is her crown. Usurped are her servants. In darkness drowned, despite prayers fervent. Cleanse withered wrath, brave the darkened path. Find her sleeping heart, guide us home. Static noises. I'm gonna take my hand out and paintings aren't meant to do that. No, they're not. They're also not meant to talk to you. At least the painting. Positive. Man, I can't get this to. I can't get this to copy and paste, which is annoying. You're gonna want to know this whole text. Take, take it as like a screenshot and then just post it in the chat. Mm. That yeah. is a fantastic idea. Thank you. That's much quicker. Snipping tool is even better for me. Yeah, I love snipping tool. Snipping tool was very helpful. Why have no, I? No, I don't this? know how to take that, but okay. <laughs> My mind went yeah. somewhere. Snipping tool. New. Yeah, Cassandra. I think he was in. Like, uh, I think. Uh... Our good friend Goob over there was uh, interested in those elves. Hmm. N no wonder he learned the language. Exactly. Do you reckon he had a thing for that uh, Enka? Why so. haven't I been using snipping tool all along? I do riddles in my stuff like constantly. And You know, there's the um, shortcut key for it as well, right? Sometimes you just need a Scottish, you know. Give me a shortcut key. Which which is it? What what is it? Windows key shift and S. Yeah. What Windows yeah, yeah. key? I didn't even know there was another way to do it other than that one. And then you can take sure. a you can take a screenshot and then quite literally just paste the image. Can you make it like something shorter, like like could it, for example? What the, what I like about snipping a tools, mouse I don't button. Have to... I don't have to grab the entire screen this way. I can just grab exactly what I want. Same with this. Like this. This is perfect. There you go. So you can see that in the Chud Game chat. Beautiful. Mm hmm. As this is ha after that's happened, I'm going to then move over to the one with the riches and put my hand into it. With the riches, you are you. You don't just go go completely in. You are able to make a. Make a perception check as you step in. Mm, there we go. Oh, why? Why am I so bad at rolling perception? <laughs> I see shapes and colors. You reach in. Oh, you see in there. 
Now make yeah. a DC 14 dexterity saving throw. Uh, eh. Oh, I'm dexterous as fuck. I mean, it makes sense, you know, with uh, all of uh, mine and Cassandra's extracurricular activities. <laughs> you take four points of damage as you as a bear trap is sprung around your hand, you manage to pull it out just in time and only take a glancing blow of damage. And once that happens, you are able to reach in and grab um, some stuff. Hmm. I've Hopefully got some, it's not riches. <laughs> I've got some still well, there's 70 gold pieces. Don't even oh, bother. Yay. Uh, Goob, have some money. 1,300 silver pieces. More money for you, Goob. Potion of he two potions of healing. Uh, let me... I will drop those into somebody's... I can probably just... Yeah. I'll, I'll drop them into your, into your guy. And one other item. Items, SRD. Let me go to the inventory. While you're doing this, I'm going to go to the toilet. I'll be back in a second. I just fucked that up. Let's try that again. You've got plutonium. You could just use plutonium import. I know, but I, this is in the... This is all in the SRD. It's just as quick. It's not quicker. It's just I can't type. Potion of healing... I always get upset when people say that they hate Foundry because I'm sorry, it's just I used to I hate Foundry. Be... Yeah, but then you learn, and once once you get past the learning curve, my agree or disagree, it's amazing once you get used to it. I was playing a game of Dungeon of the Mad Mage, and it was so bad on there. The DM got Foundry and done everything on Foundry with everyone. And then I just didn't get any time because, like, he was, he was a uh, Pacific Coast. So okay, you know, I like whenever he was a, had his server online, I was either in bed or at work, so couldn't learn it. And then he's like all this stuff going on with it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I want to do this, and I'm like nothing was fucking ever explained. As a result, absolutely hated it. Then. Got sick of paying for fucking Roll20 because, you know, for how much they wanted a year. Oh, it's, it's crazy. You get infinitely more with Foundry. So I was like, fuck it. Bought Foundry, spent just a week solid grinding learning Foundry. Yeah, yeah and then once you learn since. it, yeah, it's just amazing. And like, even like today when you sent me the, or yesterday when you sent me the characters, just porting them from game to game is so easy. And the token effects, the practical effects are just wonderful. I love it. So anyway, you find a necklace that needs to be attuned to, two potions of healing, and a bunch of worthless gold because it's a one-shot. <laughs> I think I figured this out, but it doesn't seem to be a riddle. Like I said, maybe things. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Is everybody back? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I have returned. Okay. Yeah. So you've you've cleared out basically the treasure room and the painting room. That's all the information you are able to gather at this point. 
Lost is the last. Uh, yeah, sorry, you go. The last blank spot. They said something, but for some reason, I you couldn't hear what the last word was. I think I figured that out. I think it's a warning. A story with a warning. Maybe. Oh, lost is her crown, usurped on her servants. In darkness drowned, despite prayers. Servant. Now, Telly, we call this a rhyme. Cleansed with a wow, wrath, wow. brave the darkened path. Mm. Find her sleeping heart, guide us home, and then I think maybe something about wrath. Because it seems like a warning. So, uh, find maybe. the sleeping heart, find the crown, and don't make something angry you say Maybe. you say something wrath okay um everybody hmm. make religion checks real quick ooh, ooh, am i a religious person am i a religious person the fact that he said religion. religion and not something like decks are gone apparently i'm religious apparently i'm not what is this 42 mm. and is extremely religious like, Cassandra, my religion is violence and murder. <laughs> and sex. Cassandra, this is, this oh, obviously, is obviously. weird. When you were a young warthog, um, <laughs> when I was, when a, I was young a young warthog, warthog. <laughs> yes. my father. We were when, so we are so in sync tonight. <laughs> when you, when you hear him say. Uh, when you hear him say Sreth, you think back to your your childhood. You were you were of you were born a noble. It says so in your background. Yeah. Um it doesn't show to, don't I don't show it though, right? <laughs> yeah, you you rebelled against it. And what happened was um you're a tiefling, and you were born, um, you know, you grew up thinking throughout your childhood that you were, what's the other, you were, you thought you were, cool. um, you thought you were a, a human noble for most of your life, and what happens was, is your, you your horns, familiar. your horns sprouted at about the same time your boobs did. And you realize that your entire childhood was a lie. And that was that was the point where you rebelled against your noble family. And they, they stole the, me as a baby. Well, no. You, you, you realize that your mom had stepped out and had relations uh. with a demon at some point, and that's how you became a tiefling. It was a fresh tieflingness. It was not like... Oh, like generations on, um, it ah. caused your it caused your parents to divorce. So at the same time that you know when you hit puberty, that's when you got your your horns and your boobs at the same time, and your <laughs> tiefling nature and my tail. Your your tiefling nature manifested itself, but um, you kind of when you were young, you went to all kinds of classes and all kinds of nothing stuck. Nothing stuck, but when <laughs> they tried, when you hear Gob say, "You don't," you think you say he says, he says wrath. Just automatically, you say no, 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 sir, wrath, and you say, um, "Sir, wrath, ancient goddess of the Wood Elf people." Blah 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 from millennium. Blah 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 to millennium. Blah 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 blah. You do this lore dump from some religious comparative religious books that you read back when you were a child um and you say here give me a give me a quill and because you nat 20 it just and i thought hey this is fun why the hell not i mean i'm used to nat 20s so <laughs> this uh tell you, it's just gonna be like damn this is so hot Where'd this come from? See, you can even you can bring lore and background into a one shot. You see how I took that 
randomly picked noble background. <laughs> also, I, lo- I love the fact. I love the fact that uh, your backstory is practically just fig from fantasy high. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I yes, I did shamelessly steal that from fantasy high. Thank you very much. Which, by the way, um, Ama- amazing series. Uh, amazing. Um, I absolutely love, uh, honestly, Dimension Twenty, one of the best groups. One of the well, best. Well, it's it's what I love about it is it is now. There's I am my weakness as a DM. Is, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my weakness as a DM is I don't know lore for shit, Ooh. and uh, like Fantasy High, there's no lore there. Mulligan doesn't give a shit for lore. He makes up his own lore I mean, off the cuff. Um, some of his other stuff, like when people are in that, um, um, what's the other one? Like ever after where they're all like shoe villain, all that. Yeah. And like making up his own yeah. stuff. So yeah, she says, guide us home. Sarath and puts it in right there. Um, she says, no, not wrath. Sarath. And she spouts off the stuff that she learned when she was a kid. And despite you having rejected everything from your childhood, this is the one thing you remember, that Sarath was a long-forgotten elvish wood elf deity, and you feel that this is important somehow. And this is important. <laughs> yep. Somehow. <laughs> somehow, yeah. It feels, it feels right when you say it, especially as you're standing in this room as a matter of fact, the um, the painting that talked with all the elves gathering the harvest, when you say that, you get the feeling that all the elves there are looking right at you. Hello. Sandra, put your, put your hand the, into the painting. Then the moment passes. Okay. They look uh, at you and they look at you and smile. They say the They, they say the rhyme again, and when they get to the last part, instead of saying, guide us home, static noise, they say, guide us home, and they wait expectantly for you to say something. <laughs> guide us home. They're looking at you, Cassandra. Say the words. Oh. What do I do? What do I say? I don't know, Elvis. Oh, sorry. You just I'm said it a second. Like- you Sarath. just said it as Sarath, yes, you say it, and they all smile and nod at you, and then they go back to their paintingness. Okay. And that's all you can get out of this room with a nat 20. Mm-hmm. So, we have a, a vault with a bear trap that gave you an owie. We have um, talking elves and ancient gods. Uh, we also have two sets of stairs. I have a feeling this painting is a prophecy. I thought that maybe there was something in regards to what they were saying that led to maybe something on that painting, but... Mm. Now I'm not too sure. Maybe it's telling us that, that, that what they've just done is told us what we have to do. We have to find the sleeping parts, find the crown, well, and then fix this. Well, we were already told to find the crown by um, Ramesh. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, ancient Whatever. god that... from out in the abyss, Ramesh. <laughs> Ramesh. So he told ah, us about. Thank you, patron. The, he told us about the crown, and um, we now heard about the ancient god. So we just have to find the sleeping heart and. Well, hope for the best, I suppose. Easy peasy. Sounds simple. What's uh mm-hmm. get upstairs then? Which stairs are you taking? Ye, Ye old stairs. I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Sixty nine. Well there's two sets of stairs. Between one and two would be good. The evens are odds. 69. That's even. Of course, a child like you. 
happen. Of course. <laughs> All right, I'm going to boop you over, so just hold tight. Uh, guys, I'm getting boops. Yay! I don't know if these actually, I don't know if this actually will transport you if you step onto it. You could try. I don't think it does. Is it Monk's nope, Tales? I don't no, I don't have it set up. Because I think the last time I ran this, people had no movement discipline, which is probably why I had Monk's turned off so uh, people couldn't move. Because people have the, the last time discipline. I ran this, we're just running all over the map willy fucking nilly and it drives me crazy sometimes that's about right hold tight that's all you nobody move that's all you ever do you guys get a massive dungeon you all fuck off in equal directions to leave the bard oh, and the I ranger know. to fight fucking three shambling mounds oh the last time i ran this one the last time i ran this <laughs> the party split up like instantly <laughs> two or three times i'll have you now there you go. I'll have you know, I can run 150 feet in 6 seconds as Elijah. <laughs> you can also finish in I'm 6 seconds sure from what I've heard. Obviously. You go up the stairs, there you go. Yeah. You finish off, you finish fast first time, so then you last longer the second time. Clearly you don't know much about it. A good lover doesn't need a second time. Swing open the door. No, you go as many rounds as you can. You swing open the door. I think we need some music. It's been that's, a while. That's how you lose your penis to friction burns. Well, um, mm. what is this? Well, that might have happened in your case. Hold on, nobody. I'll run around. You will pay the price if you run around here. Oh, we're all just getting in the room, so we all see the same thing. Ten four. Quick. A low but persistent. Chanting reverberates around this molding cistern. Mm. A murky pool of brown slime simmers below clusters of white capped mushrooms that spill down several pillars that protrude from the stone walls. The air is chill and greasy. You hear like it... chanting in the room. Very concerned about greasy air. Don't know how that's possible, but there's mushrooms on the ground and on the pillars. I have a door here. I have a door. You here notice? As well. You notice yeah. that the chanting? If you look at the. The chanting is actually coming from the mushrooms themselves. They have tiny mouths that are chanting ritually. Yeah, you've got a door here and a door on the other side of the room. Uh, try your door, you're closer. I'm going to open the door then. You open the door. You open Shark bait, <laughs> whoa! This room is interesting. Um, would you like to move into the room? No, how about you go first? Oh, well, you're already by the door, so you might as well. No, no, I insist. No, I, I went insist through the first friend. door, you've opened this door, now you go through. See, order of no, I <laughs> See? Yes, you have to wait for your wife to do such. The night sky surrounds you. Stars gleam beneath the gentle sheen of the moon. A large ivory bowl perches atop a wooden table. Small bones click and clatter erratically from within. Next to the bowl sits a small stack of parchment cards. Bones don't usually rattle. They don't. I'm going to look at the cards, because I, I feel they're an elvish. <laughs> Okay. Nah, mate, it's a deck of many things. Knock, your, knock <laughs> yourself out. Fuck no. One shot over, then in there. 
<laughs> that would be that would be really cruel. But fun. So, uh, what's all this parchment saying? What, what's it up to? What do the cards say? As an empath, I feel that this one sparks joy. <laughs> it basically is a deck of tarot cards. Uh, the back of each card features a crescent mood made of twirling branches and leaves. If you remember, um, Ezos downstairs with the owl bears, he had a very similar pin on his cloak. Did any of the other people... The bones in the kicked? bowl continue to rattle. Did anyone else whose asses we kicked have that same symbol as a brooch? No. No, they had a different symbol. I'm gonna look at the bones. It wasn't, a, it wasn't as a brooch, but there was a different symbol. I can't, I can't quite remember what it was. You see, um... You see bones in my heart. The bone is full of... Though you see bones, they're moving Ooh. around a little bit, like there's something down at the bottom of the bowl. You can't tell what. Hmm. Click, 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 click. Clickety, click, click, click. Gonna... Use my rapier and just kind of you know, move the bones at like a bit of you a start, distance. Yep, you start knocking bones out of the table. And um, at the bottom of the bowl, looking up at you, is a skull. Is it the one we're looking for? You're not sure. And the skull. As you're wondering that, um, Cassandra, you, you say that out loud and um, the skull looks at you and he says, I don't know, are you looking for me, Jack the Seer? Man, it's awful hard to talk with a bunch of bones in your mouth. Oh, oh no. that's new. That's new. Yeah, um, I don't know why they put bones in there, but man, it made it real hard to talk. Tell you what, if you hang me on the moon, I'll answer one question for each of you. If we hang and, him on the moon. Yeah, if you hang him on the moon. And if you look, looking in this room, this room is, I mean, you see walls and stuff kind of, sort of, but also as you look up, <coughs> like, the walls, it's kind of like when you blur your eyes, it's kind of like you're inside, but you're outside. Like, the night sky surrounds you. Like, up towards the ceiling, stars gleam beneath the gentle sheen of the moon. A large ivory bowl sits so, like, there's like a moon kind of in the sky that you look up at, but it's I mean, it's up towards the ceiling or up kind of beyond the ceiling. It's kind of hard to figure out. Hang me on the moon. Yeah, if you hang me on the moon, I'll answer one question for each of you. Um, how about we look around a bit more and then do that? So that way we actually have some questions. Whatever floats your boat, gob. Usually what? I see no Here. Head. Honestly, honestly, that's creepy. Yeah, check yourself. Let's. Hmm. Good to have the bones out of my mouth. Gonna much, much black. Probably is. Put hands over where his ears should be and be like. Anyone got any idea? Are you sure that thing can sell us? Well, that tickles, but you could hang me from the moon and I would answer a question for you. I. Then, Scott. 
walk. You know, I think I think five step back. Uh, you know, five foot back. Hands up. It's like I'm. I'm not doing anything with that. Suit yourself. That that thing knows more th more than it should. Probably right, Gob. I'd like to like just see if it's lying to us. Uh, give me um a um deception check. Huh? Give me a uh, I'm sorry. Insight. Insight check. That's right. Opposite of yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can tell seems, so much. Seems, seems totally legit. Why would a skull lie to you? He's just, just yeah. hang him from the moon is what he wants. He's just regular skull that wants to get hung from the moon so he can answer questions. Seems totally 100% normal. Mm. Even mm. though the moon is like in the far distance, it's weird. And skulls don't usually talk. I'm not wondering. any skull, I'm Jack the Skull. Jack the Seer. Pleased to meet ya. How would one even hang How you? How you doing there, him? telekinetic? Hang me from the moon and I'll answer a question. How would one do so? Oh, I can't answer a question unless you hang me from the moon. It doesn't work that way now, does it? You can't answer the question unless you tell us how we can get you hung on a moon. Hmm. I don't make the rules. I just live by them. Live by them? Ha! <laughs> Well, not really technically a lie. You're funny. I'm Jack the Seer. You have told us this. Hmm. Maybe, maybe he means the brooch that was on that uh, lovely old man. The man who ran away? Exactly. So, uh, that's the same one. The night there's uh, up above this room like you can see a night sky with stars and a moon it's kind of beyond the walls of the room but you can see like there's a night sky up above like throw him. there's a moon that you can see throw him go ahead then that's not something I'm very well equipped for whereas Cassandra is very much equipped for it how do you know if you don't try Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe because she's a barbarian and I'm a bard. Has mm. that ever crossed your mind? Well, no, I knew that. So therefore, I she would be more... Her, but... She would be better equipped for, you know, throwing things. As that mm. requires she... a lot of I strength. Her. Something I now, don't have. Now, to throw the skull? Now, hmm. Cassandra, did I, did I say throw me at the moon or did I say hang me from the moon, Cassandra? Hello, I'm Jack the Seer. I'm not going to be able to hang him is, from a moon. What is... I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, let me check quickly something. Probably have to throw him to get him hung. Did he say that, though? Uh... Boob. Did he say, well, did would you he like say to that? Try, would you like to try and hang him from the moon? Please, place your did hand up and touch. Place your hand up and grab the moon. Do it. Place your hand up and grab the moon. The moon which is in the sky. Please, by all means, you go ahead and grab the moon. Can it's I try a, druid craft a... to create a tiny harmless sensor if it predicts what the weather will be at your location for the next 24 hours? It would make a golden ore for clear skies or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can thank him from there. <laughs> you try through a craft and you get an idea of what the what the weather outside in the real world would be like. Yeah. Cloudy with a chance of rain. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. So that's a cloud then. There's no clouds in this night sky. There are stars and a moon and a perfect crescent. You would know also that a new moon... A new moon, actually, when they say a new moon, a new moon is when there is no moon in the sky. And, and that's so what they were waiting for anywhere. for the ritual. But there's a moon here in this room. It's a little crescent moon, like, you know, 
the man on the moon kind of crescent moon kind of dealy kind of deal. That's what you see up in the sky of this room. But Jack mm -hmm. Sears, I, I can wait all forever. I'm Jack the Seer. Would you would one be able that, to thank you, yes. hang something from said moon that is on the ceiling? How high is the ceiling? Um, the ceiling is like fifteen feet up. The wall. How heavy is that? Up? How heavy is that skull? It's a skull, so. Yeah, like three, one pound. Why would I like uh, climb up and reach the moon when I could just a uh, mage hand the skull up to the moon? <laughs> you just uh, you mage hand it up, and. The skull floats out of the bowl. Hi, I'm Jack the Seer. Hang me from the moon. And you float it up to the ceiling, and at 15 feet, Jack the Skull, Jack the Seer passes right through the ceiling, and it looks like he's moving towards the moon. Not quite there yet. Hey, the ceiling isn't there. Interesting. I'm gonna grab you like a princess. Grab and just make you higher so that you can push the mage hand higher. <laughs> so, okay, uh, how, just... how are you doing this, Cassandra? That's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna grab him by his ass and just hips well, and just. Okay, so there's a table, there's you, there's Telly. <laughs> There's... I'm gonna take him like in my arms, step on, step or jump on the table. I don't know how high it is, and then just raise him like Simba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get him up higher, man. You're holding him up. He's, you're awful close. You feel like with the mage hand, <laughs> you're up for a full thirty feet. Um... I give him some more range for the mage hand. <laughs> the, the, you um. <laughs> Sally, you are, your 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 head is now inches from the ceiling, and you're just That's you, right Jack. The skull is not quite there yet. Um, so much minute, temptation to kick the leg of this table and were, collapse. If you were if you were to stand up, you feel like as though your head would go right through the ceiling, and maybe it would reach. Maybe it would be enough. You're not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna move myself on the table. You're on the table? I, yeah. I went on the yeah, table. Yeah, you're standing uh, on the table. You're holding Jack up kind of like a <laughs> like Simba, like a baby. You're holding him by his ass and holding him up. So you're kind of sitting in Cassandra's cupped hands. Hmm. She's holding you up. You've got your mage hand extended out. Jack is <laughs> through the ceiling towards the moon, but it's just not quite far enough. Hmm. I'm going to reach one hand up as I'm doing this and see if I can grab the moon that's actually on the oh, ceiling or if I would actually pass through it. Your your hand passes through. Hmm. Still not quite there. So close. Mm -hmm. This is a predicament. How can, how can I get up? How can we make me taller? Uh, I've got an idea. Goob! Rage! Climb up! <laughs> Goob, climb up! <laughs> no. Cassandra, you rage. Is that what you really <laughs> want to do? I'm not sure, should I? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I... Or I could, I could throw you up if you want. I think if you, you rage, I think if you rage, you'd break the table. Yeah, true. It's you... a stone Lock. table. I think if you up. raged, uh, clearly I'd sit on your uh, boobs instead. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand on them, yes. <laughs> you stand? You're right now you're sitting. Oh yeah, I could actually, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> slowly and very carefully like stand up. <laughs> stand on my head. <laughs> you stand. Your head and shoulders pass up <laughs> through the ceiling. 
you're kind of like doing kind of a shitty cheerleader kind of one <laughs> one person pyramid kind of deal. Make a dexterity check for me, please. Um, I'm uh, like so dexterous, you know. I'm like so dexterous. Here comes the nat one. I'm like ten. You're holding it together. Um, as you pass through the ceiling, you start to get very dizzy and um, tell you start to float upwards. Whoa! I'm going I'm to. Gonna let him, I'm, I'm gonna gonna... let him float upwards until his hand re like so I can just kick take um, care take hold of his ankle. I'm just okay. Grabbing make, him uh, by the ankle so he can float. Make an athletics check, Cassandra. <laughs> please, 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 please. Which of those came first? Let's see. Thirteen. I... Oh, a three. Don't I have advantage on strength? Check. <laughs> uh, you have advantage. You are oh, raging. Yes, raging. Yes, you do. No, that is. <laughs> that is with advantage. Look, two d twenty k h. So that's uh, two d twenty. Keep the highest. Yep, you do. You do have it's advantage. advantage. You reach out. You you catch him. Um, as he's floating away, because you are raging, you are freakishly strong at the moment, you athletically reach out, you catch just the very heel of his boot as you, you telekinetic, start to get very disoriented. You're kind of spinning a little out of control, and just as you feel you're going to spin off into space, you feel Cassandra grabs the heel of your shoe, holds you in place steady. It's just enough. And you reach out with your mage hand and ever so gently you hang Jack the Seer from the moon. And he what looks at I you say? and he says, Thank Wait. you. Amazing. I'm Jack the Seer. You may each ask me a question and I will do my best to answer. Please put me down now. And I oh, thank you. Stop, stop yep, raging you... and pull him down in my arms. Ah, oh, it's a it's a tender moment. Oh, wow! Oh, you get all yeah, big. I'm and you get excited now. by that. Yeah. <laughs> really cool moment there. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jack looks down at you and says, "You may ask your questions." Mm. Well, as the uh, savior of the moment, I believe you should ask first, Cassandra. Okay. Where is her crown? The crown is deep in the heart of the tree. You yeah. must go down. You must go down before you go up. Hmm. The answer you seek lies on this level. And then he... Question answered. Okay, so... We still have to... To find the crown, we have to find the sleeping heart. So is, is the sleeping heart and the heart of the tree the same thing? Are you asking I'm, him? I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking him, I'm just like asking the other Yourself. Two. Yeah, like sort of like Thinking just out discussing the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not like in the D&D &D movie where you really keep asking questions and the dead start answering them. <laughs> yeah, be careful, be careful you're, who you're asking questions to, the skull is listening. Uh, I'm, I'm asking Sandra and... Google it hears now. everything. If you're going to ask a question, you better leave the room. If you're gonna, it's it's waiting. Yeah, you need to answer. Uh, what lies on the other side that is, this tree is protecting us from? A powerful foe. A winged behemoth who controls the shadows. A fell beast who can kill you with a breath. Question answered. Would I 
know what that is. Just what he described. No, like, is in like, yeah. would that would that late? Would I have heard any like stories or anything that links nope. to that? Nope. Oof. Okay. Well, Goob, your turn. <sighs> No, I believe everything's fine. What was that? I did not ask a question. Ask a question. No, I believe everything has been answered that I would like to know. Can ask something ask, else? Ask anything you want. No, I believe everything has been asked that I would like to ask. You don't Maybe have to ask a question. Maybe if something comes Isn't up, that... I can come back and ask. But until then... It's better to have one okay. in the chamber. You could ask about those uh, lovely elves you were so interested in. Oh yes, the elves that give us the information that we require, of course. Exactly, yes. the ones I could you... ask about those elves who helped us get the information that we need. Well, Cassandra had a nice blast you, uh, of information. It sounds like you are reserving your question. I'm cool with that. Moving on. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna open this door. Is that okay with you, Telly? Can I open this door without a million fucking questions? I don't know. Can you open a door? Are I you fucking tall give to? up with you. From the moon, <laughs> it says, yes, the door can be opened. Wasn't Question asking you. <laughs> Question <laughs> answer. I specifically. <laughs> got, got, I specifically asked Telly and not. And so. then Telly asks a. A, a rhetorical question right back at you. But Skull had already answered Taylor's I've asked, question. I've asked, I've asked. Oh yeah, However, that's true. But I do I... believe uh, the DM ruled that uh, if you were going to ask a question, do it outside of the room. But I, he also said that we should be careful who we ask our questions to, and I specifically You're right. stated you. I will, I will allow it this time, but be careful. <laughs> be super careful. You open um, the door. Very careful with my that words. Been, that would have been very funny. You're almost done, guys. You're close. You're so close. You can finish this tonight. Nice. Let's do this. Hey, okay. just a temperature check. How is it going, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> we played to 5 a.m. our time, like, last night. Like, this is nothing. Let's go! I'm a beast. Bane rocks, Bane rocks up fucking just at the tail end and... I've All been right. here the whole time. <laughs> Why is the door closing? I do not want it to close. It's not closing. Take a look in here. What do we see? Steam spills down the walls into vast pools of water as columns of, of streams, I'm sorry, streams spill down the walls into vast pools of water as columns of steam rise in the air. A defunct well made of split stone slumps against the wall. Two basins stand out. One of water so pure that you can see the bottom. The other full of stinking gunk, thick as mud. Hunched in the middle of the room is a wilted sapling. Hmm. Something's going on here. Are they trying to like make they a want tree us within a tree? Water? Maybe. They want us to water the sapling? Don't see any instructions you look, anywhere. Cassandra, you look at the sapling and um The sapling looks like it is in fairly desperate need of water. Lance with Earth's wrath. Free the dark and back. Try to cleanse it. 
something. I mean, that there's something about withered in that thing that we saw. Yeah, the tree oh. is very withered. Then try. Okay. There's a door to the north. The, 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 the weeping willow definitely is a water hungry tree. I don't have anything like shape water. It doesn't even like the tree, like where it's planted, it doesn't even look like it's firmly in place there, Cassandra. It looks like it's odd that it's placed where it is. It looks like it is just starving for water. Can I excavate it and put it in the clean water? <laughs> you can. I'm, I'm a gardener, but... Make a, give okay. me a strength check. Strength check or... Um... Just give me athletics. Yeah, that's what I'm strength... You start dragging the tree towards the water, the clean water. Um, it's it, the tree, like the roots that are there, aren't really planted into much of anything. You drag it towards the pool of clean water. Okay, gonna put it in. Um. Don't put it in the pool. She already did. Put it put it here. It's already in the pool. No, that's a hold at like another level. Never worry. Don't worry about it. Oh, I thought I that think, was it. It was there. I think that here. place to put a tree. As you place the tree into the water, the roots start to churn in the water and suddenly the tree um, the, the pool begins to glow with a pale green light as the weeping Ooh. willow dissolves. And after a minute, uh -huh. only a wooden key remains floating in the middle of the pool right here on the surface. <clears throat> Ooh. It did say the key was, the, the answer was somewhere on this floor of how to get down. Mm hmm. That's yeah, what Jack the Seer said. There's a yeah. key floating in the middle of the pool now, right here. It's made of wood from the willow that dissolved. I've got the number yeah, door we... over here. Can you, can you get it for me, please? I'm going to use my mage hand and just grab it. No yep, problem. I'm going, I'm going to do exactly that. Oh, you, <laughs> you're going to use your mage hand, okay. I've been mage hand the entire time. It's one of those cantrips. I'm also gonna take a yeah, look it through is, here. It is very helpful. It's That's very one of those helpful. ones I barely use. Uh there's a it's door. There's a door to the south. Um that does not lead to the room that we just came from, despite how it looks. So uh, there's a door to the north. Mm -hmm. You can jump down that hole if you wish. Um I think there it is. leads I think that hole maybe leads to the, the room with the portraits, which also had a hole, which will probably lead to where we came. So that's about a hundred foot, give or take. Um, I'll take the stairs. There is another pool of water right here, in case you missed that part. That Didn't. is the murky water. Dark, mm -hmm. murky water. Yeah, we... I'm just gonna check what he, what's here. Just so I can map it out. Gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna try something really dumbly weird after I've got like the key. So I'm gonna take like the mage hand and just kind of like splash some of that water, like you know maybe up onto here, um, or such, just to see like you know if there's any any interact. You know if it's maybe like acidic or something. No, no. You just see really dark. Darkened murky water here. A whole pool of darkened murky water. Brave the darkened pear. We need to find the darkened pear. 
But his... I mean, if we take it literally. What's in that door? Out of curiosity. Which door? Uh, door of the fifth. The, the investment uh, locked. It's locked. Oh. You have a key. It goes upwards to the top level. I have a key. You need to go down. Hmm. No, do you remember? You recall that the Jack the Skull said what you need is on this level to recover the crown. What the boat is it? Roll through here. Yeah, but we need to find the heart of the tree as well. This so. door. Yes. That goes down to the second floor, um, goes back to the alchemy room. Okay. Then I think like we're looking at something to do with this pool of water. I'm not just it's dark wind is working around water. over here. See where this leads? Because this looks like a darkened path to me. <laughs> that reason. leads back to the room full of shrieking mushrooms. Ah, okay. I'm going to jump in the murky water. You jump in the murky <laughs> water. In you go. It's pretty deep. What are you doing? I'm a... You know how to swim? How, how deep are we looking here? Like... 10, 20, 40 feet. Only one way to really? find out. Uh, are you sure you don't guess I'm going to start swimming down. Start. Already can't hear you. I'm underwater, mate. Just going to start swimming downward. downwards until I hit something. You swim downwards. Are you... Just, where are you going? Are you heading towards the center, the sides, anything? Go to the center first. You know, see if there's maybe. I, I'm assume I'm gonna make the assumption. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can see some stuff, just not an awful lot. It's really dark. Give me um. Give me a perception check. Oh boy! Oh boy! This will be where. This'll or be investigation. Inve perception or investigation, whichever is better for you. Uh, plus two in perception. Plus two is better than a plus zero. You feel like you're going to have to come up and take a breath. You feel like you're onto something. You're feeling around. Yeah. Come back up. Big deep breath. And it's, uh, it's try dark. It again with, try it again with advantage. Eventually you're going to find it. It's dark. But I'm not going to make you keep on rolling. You're, you're on down. the right path. I'm gonna jump um, down once more, and then you want give, to with advantage. Give me a give me a perception check with advantage. There we go. Nice. There we go. Okay, that was yeah. It was. It's fine. You do take because of the extra efforts. You do take one point of damage just from. Holding your breath and struggling and feeling around, but you do struggle through it. Did take you a couple of tries. You pull, you find a plug at the center. There's like a stopper at the bottom. Right. Does it have anything I can loop on with? You can. You feel like you can pull that plug. Then I want to because probably going to be really dumb of me to do it here. I'm going to put some rope through it. You can do that. Swim up to the top with the rope. That's a, a plug. Let's all pull. And then go down the hole. That's why we can breathe. You pull the plug. All the water drains out. The pool is empty. Where the plug was, you see at the bottom of the pool. 30 feet down is a well you see something down there now you're 30 feet up there all of you guys yeah. make my way back into it you carefully clamber down you see there's a keyhole down there at the bottom Ooh. 
I wonder what if, it, if the wooden key will fit. Yep, put the wooden key in and turn and see. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna throw it down. I have the You're key. Though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You've got the wooden key. Mm -hmm. You're doing this all by yourself. Well, I'm, I'm hoping everyone else is coming down, but right now I'm yeah, already fine. putting that we're in and turning. We're... Yeah, fine, we're coming. We, we, we are following. Do not worry. Yeah. And then turn and see what hopes, see what happens. You turn the key, and the entire floor of the pool starts to sink. <laughs> like an elevator goes oh. down 10 20 30 feet at 30 feet it's almost as though the floor just disappears into black space and suddenly you are transported to a room that is completely black you don't even know if it's a room it's a space hello as you look you see wood all around you. It's like you're inside of an acorn. Pulsing light washes around the wooden walls of this cavern in honey gold. Vines threaded with radiant gemstones blanket the ground, ringing underfoot like wind chimes in a spring breeze. A pedestal of liquid sunshine burns in the center of the room. Atop it rests the crown of thorns. Mm. Mage hand. You mage hand it. It is resisting your mage hand. It's down there pretty tight. Uh... Someone want to go and try touch the prickly thorn of crowns? Crown of thorns? Why not? I shall move forward and because uh, with with the picture I had that sort of like base to it. I'm gonna try and grab it from the base and lift it up. You grab it. You see for a second. Um you see a luminescent doe, the deer, gallop across the room oh, as a voice deer, like stones. Deer. Very lovely. A voice like a voice like stones skipping across a river whispers to every character present. May Sarath guide you. May you find shelter in her light. The doe prances back to the basin they arrived in as the wind, as a rising wind picks up. The room shifts into, into a kaleidoscope of colors and the walls melt away. You are teleported back to where you entered the basin, which has now disappeared. You have the crown of thorns. And I need to let the dogs out because they're... Get the dogs out! Snorting at me. Izzy, you want to go outside? You go outside, go potty. Let the dogs out. Oh, this, I was so tempted to cast darkness in that pool when you were when you went to swim. <laughs> it was already a bit black. I couldn't see already. Yeah, like that. Uh, we see your spell. Uh. All right, you have the crown of thorns. So, uh, what do we do now? You also, after having this um, encounter with this um, manifestation of Sarath, you can take this moment and have the effects of a long rest. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, I like long rests. They give me back me spells. Yes, yeah, so take your long rest while I go and pee and let the dogs in in a minute. We'll pick this up in two minutes and then you should go up to the top floor so we can finish. We're very nearly done. Nice. Um, is new day? No, probably, right? No, it's not a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a but, new yeah, dawn. You, 
I mean, you could make it a new day if you have like something that comes up on a new day. The the encounter I'll you just have with Sarat will, will functionally give you the effects of a new of a long rest. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. It's a new dawn. It's a new. It's a new day. day. It's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> so once all this is uh, over we have a date to get to obviously obviously uh where do, where do you want to go i don't mind as long as i'm with you and we have sex at the end of it that sounds like a wonderful idea you want to join us good you're more than welcome. The more the yeah. merrier. Yeah. Good. <laughs> He's ignoring us. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that feeling, yes. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't have his headphones on. <laughs> at, at, what, yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Did you see him on the on the web on the camera? Hello. Yeah, he's going. He's gonna go take a shit, probably. Mm. It's very understandable. <laughs> I'm liking Cassandra very much. Yeah. yeah. I it's, mean, it's a very, very it's... fun trio. Uh, trio to play. Yeah, it's a very fun. Very funny. We're having some very funny it's interactions, two, like two, bickering two all the time, bickering all the time, <laughs> flirting, asking Gip to join them. <laughs> as, as, as I was saying, the two nymphomania actually trying to get their friend to join them, and the yeah. friend is just like, "No, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why?" Oh, he's, he's, it's it's really hates them both. So embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Oh no, he doesn't secretly. It's very open. <laughs> he finds them nauseating, a little gross because they're always doing grungy mm -hmm. stuff. They're not. Neither one of them is very clean, so you know. <laughs> yeah, one's, well, no, no, a drunk. I'm... one's a drunk. Yeah. The other's a slob. I'm... <laughs> I'm clean. I'm just drunk. <laughs> yes, standard. I still, look, I still, I still take after, like, look after myself and stuff. I'm just heavily drunk, pretty much all, all the time. <laughs> he has standards. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and obviously, 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 Cassandra's the highest of those standards, you know. Like, that's that's obvious. That's obvious. Are you becoming a sim for Cassandra too? <laughs> obviously, every character. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Uruf and Elijah, because they're simping for Rona. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Got a simp for one character in everything, you know? Makes it funny. It does. But yeah, um, we were asking you to join us, <laughs> on our date No, I've after. got considerably <laughs> better things and considerably higher standards. Exactly. That's uh. what I said. And let's let's oh, be honest here. Weird. Let's be honest. Gets us awry Lesbians. are the lowest standard. Wow, wow, wow! That's you're harsh. gonna go say it, you're gonna go there and say that when you're three foot two, smell like shit. My guy, you can't even handle a standard bard, plane of existence. Bard, bard with a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this this free Eloquence interactions my by the way. Ass. Eloquence my you, ass. Your no people, manners. Your people actively stood no up bitches. and went, do you know what I'm gonna do? No I'm gonna bitches. leave. I'm gonna leave my actual homeland. I'm gonna go live in another plane of existence where no, nothing no. else exists because we're Probably. that fucking annoying. Even your own people decided they'd rather slaughter you than leave you to the mind flares. The gif Yankee went, you know what? 
Even the mind flayers don't need to live with this shit. We'll kill the mind flayers, use go live in pandemonium limbo, where nothing else exists bar slad, because no one fucking likes you. But look, hey, look hey, to hey, his hey, credit. Hey. But that's a hard him... so devotion of a free soul than the grudging obedience of a slave. And look, you guys are quite came, literally came safe. back to this plane. Exactly. Exactly. So, therefore, by being here, I'm breaking free from those bonds. However, you, my dear friend, who's usually your evil, height. by the way, like to slave to your height. My wow, height the world which is about six foot, by the way. In the meantime, the world is ending upstairs. The goblin is six foot. Interesting. Yes, the hobgoblins Hob -goblin. are about Hob seven are tall. foot. Oh, hobgoblins. Ah. Instead, That's he's about fun. six foot. Hmm. So yeah, world ending. Mark, yes, world ending upstairs. I'm seven foot, bitch. I mean, are you? Yeah. Get Zaria have an average uh, height between five foot one and seven feet. They're like Kareem yeah. and Jabbar. They're lanky. They're wiry. <laughs> oh, you know, that's all that small fucker. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's are. You want to finish this or what? Let's fuck shit up, though. I've already ruled an initiative. Okay. Let's Waiting go. in your descriptions. Yes. Let's motherfucking go in this bitch. <laughs> you find the silver key. You use the same silver key you used before you got off of Enka. Filled with Serath's inspiration that gave you what a motherfucker is Cyrus? Cyrus is... Cyrus? You haven't Cyrus met him Cyrus? yet. Damn. You come up the stairs, you hear chanting as you come up. We're gonna change combat to something else again. Oh no, motherfucker Rook. is dead! Combat boss. Whatever happened to the... Whatever happened to the skull, by the way? The skull? Yeah. Why am more Failed like figures! <laughs> figures veiled by the shade good. of the all trees' colossal branches drone a foreboding intonation. The flat wood of the treetop is marked by arcane runes drawn with congealed blood. A dark portal cleaves the space overhead, leaving reality ripped like a cloth. From within, a mammoth creature observes the proceedings hungrily. Its tremendous bulk roils with the shadows of a million tormented souls. A lone, man, a lone elven man stands with his arms held high in the center of it all. He clasps a jeweled skull tightly in one hand. In a commanding voice, he throws his head back and declares, Verana the Corrupter, today we free you from your chains. No, you don't. So, yeah, um... You see... Pardon me. You see, you see this. And you should roll for initiative. Let me get that. I got to get people into combat, though. Oh, we already have. Already in the uh, initiative. Is there any actually full initiative order here, to be honest? I don't even know how they're already in initiative. I must have rolled somebody in, or this is like a leftover last combat I had up here. Jesus Christ! Who's got the crown? Uh, I do currently. One, two, three, There's four, eight five. An initiative, but ten on screen. I don't like your rolls either. They suck. Let's do it over again. I'm gonna end this and redo it. 
Second try. Please roll better game. There is no combat encounter. Hang on. Now there is. There better be a whole lot of these motherfuckers in here. Mm -hmm. I have oh, like a, a uh, Jesus. I have like a half of a a watermelon here. Damn. This is my meal for today. All right. I don't. I don't really like watermelon personally. How dare you? I don't like watermelon either. Me neither. I, I, I don't. I just don't know. I don't know what it is. There's something about it. Wow, just you guys really too sugary. Oh, like like they just better. water and sugar. Mm. The I like watermelon flavored things though. It's weird. Telekinetic, you rolled terrible, and you. Oh no, I'm just. An you rolled pie though. Yeah. Three point one four. Okay. Who's got the crown? Who's holding the crown? Telekinetic has the crown? Uh, yeah. I yes. have the crown. <laughs> I I'm do just... want to point out, Telekinetic, you do have inspiration. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. I'm going to use that on this. To allow me to roll again. So, yeah, just roll a d20 um, and we'll add your modifier. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just, uh... There we go. Oh, lovely. 18 Love that. plus what? Uh, well, no. 3. 18, so uh, you get plus 20. Two. Plus 2. That's a big swing. I like that. I like that. Because so. Yeah, we'll fix you. Nice. I knew it was a good smart idea saving that inspiration. I definitely didn't forget about it. Nope. Oh hi, Cass. Oh hi, Cassandra. I'm just before you now. How you doing? What are you doing with the crown, telekinetic? Well, we'll get to that in your turn. Hmm? All right. So let me pop this shit out. Do I have my combat popped out already somewhere? What is going on? Must have. I'm having technical issues? My pop out stopped working, that's annoying. I just have it hidden somewhere. Hold on, let me look for it. Oh, here it is. Not hidden anymore. Cyrus is motherfucker is fast, Jesus. Up at the front, and he is chanting. He's holding on to the crown for dear life. This elven cultist currently not paying attention to. Let's see. does not notice you yet. Also does not notice you yet. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They can't roll good. That's good for you. Yep. Telekinetic. Right now, 
They seem to be unaware of your presence. What are you doing? Well... Hang on a second. Let me just, uh... Fuck. Not close enough. Okay. Uh... This crown, obviously, has something to do with it. What do we think crown... Like, do you reckon I, like, someone's got to put it on? Or, like, what are we thinking? Five. Uh, hello. Four. Goob. Or Three. Santa. Do you reckon we've got to put this crown on? Two. One. Go for okay, I'm just going to put the crown on then. Just put, put the, the crown, crown on your on. head. Mm hmm. Alright. Put the crown on. You start to glow with light. Let me set that up real quick. Nice. That's not uh, conspicuous at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this like. I gotta find an animation that I like. Cotter, you have a color preference? Hmm. Hmm. Green, probably, because that seems fitting. Green just seems very fitting for a crown of thorns. It does. I like that idea. Oh, wow. That's definitely not conspicuous. I look not like a motherfucking disco ball. <laughs> no, no, no. Does, is, it, is it, you're, like, not, you're not shining rainbow. You know, sarcastically, this isn't conspicuous. Oh, here, you put it on the crown. You are gleaming with light. It is um, absolutely out there, dude. You put on the crown. We're going to call that a, um, a bonus action to do that. You still have action and movement. I'm going to move 15 feet. Uh... How heavy do we reckon this skull is? You don't know. You know that it's... The guy is clasping it very tightly. Would it be possible to, uh... Rip it from his hands with a mage hand? You can certainly try. You don't know. Might as well try. Those that ask do not receive. So. Yep, you try. Go ahead. I'm going to attempt then to rip it from his hands. Especially as it's invisible, because then he can't see it. Okay, give me um, sleight of hand. Um, DC 22. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it was only no. a natural 20. That could have worked. No! That, you could crit it out of his hand, and that would be the only way you could do it. Um, so close. You watch, and he's... So far away. He turns, and he looks at you. Um, and um, his eyes go wide. Um... As you move 15 feet forward, you also mm -hmm. notice um, two of the guys that are, a couple of the guys that are near you. Hang on a second.
the two back rank guys, this guy here. This guy here and this guy here grab their heads and shriek a little bit and they're like seem confused. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Which one's these dudes here? Yep. This one. Okay. And this one. Okay. Then uh I'm assuming this is probably because of the crown, so I'm just gonna Hello! Bask in my radiance. Bask in your radiance. Alright, good move. Administrative purposes. We'll move one guy five feet closer. Just makes it easier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, everybody within 25 feet of you except this guy. They all are grabbing their heads and seeming confused or discombobulated somehow. Anything else? I'm just going to look at the Cyrus, the Cyrus dude. I obviously don't know his name. Yeah, but I'm just looking at him and going, give us the skull. Nope, he's and still chanting that ritual for all he's worth. And we will spare your life. Nice. Cassandra. Yay. I would like to rage. Nope, it's mummy guy. milker time. <laughs> it's time for the mummy milkers. <laughs> And then I'll. I have 40 feet of movement. I'll make myself my way directly over here, uh -huh. making sure to scrape. If I can, maybe with my feet, like destroy the ritual, something. Like, no effect. But sure, good try. And then I'm gonna just go at go at him. Nice. You hit him. You take some damage. Yeah. Ooh. That's me. Brother looking kind of injured now. Yeah, he's looking hurt. You got him good. <laughs> I'm trying to disturb him from disrupting from continuing to do his ritual. He is hanging on to your life. Anything else? Means. All right. Up next, Elvin Cultus. This guy screams his head. He's screaming to himself. And he looks at Cyrus. Telekinetic, he looks at you. And he says, Verona, call to me. I must, we must open the gate. But I hear the voice of Serath. Verona must be stopped. And he goes unexpectedly, unsheaths his scimitar. And he starts making his way toward the big evil mm. dragon. I'm converting them. Yes. Join my religion. We worship Cassandra here. This guy does the same thing. He comes right up on the dragon. Eat that motherfucker up. The dragon visible? Did I make him visible? Yes, I did. Good. Perfect. Go minions! Attack! Yeah, Oops. 
Wrong token. No, I can't grab the guy. Hang on a second. Fix you back here, buddy. There you go. It's all yeah. good, buddy. This guy, he... In the face of this huge dimensional dragon thingy, he whips out his puny sword. Targets you this got, thing. You got this, bro. I believe in you. He swings his tiny scimitar. Yeah! <laughs> and hits Verana the Corruptor for some points of damage. It's injured! Just one same thing. He's going right up on it. You'd be amazed by the number of people I play this with who don't put on the fucking crown. Like, ever. Why? Why? The point of it is get the crown. <laughs> What, what are you what are you meant to do with it? Put it on a pedestal. <laughs> Just pick off one. That guy misses. It just seemed it just seemed logical, like just yep. put on his head. Gob, gob, gob. Hmm. That door I'm still open. Up, buddy. What's still open? That door still open. What door? The door that we came up. Is that a problem? Yeah. I'm asking, is it still open? It goes all the way to the way to the bottom of the stairs, sure. Yeah, but if it's open, I feel these two have got it, so I might just leave. <laughs> I like it. You know, like... Hmm... I'll see how I feel, I'll dodge. I'll inspect the battlefield as it's gone on. Okay. No coward. Verona the Corruptor comes up. In fact, can I take that back and cast Blade Ward on them to Joking. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. You seem to forget that I'm the only one with healing here, so me actually staying here is like the best thing I could ever do for you, mate. I have, I have a potion of healing. Two of them. Where are my... Alright, I have, I have third are. level healing, mate. I do have a potion of healing. We do have yeah. some sort of yeah. healing as well. I'll get 3d4 plus 4. Yeah, damn. You get 2d4 plus 2. Alright, we're gonna. I'm gonna redo this. I don't like how I'm doing this. I wanna move him Actually. first. Actually, I have 4d4 plus 2. Or 4 even. Because there's two of them. That's 2. Bonus actions, you still got a yes. He, he invokes opportunity attacks from that dude. Yep. Yeah. From one dude, absolutely. We'll use this dude. Yeah. Here. This one dude's gonna absolutely destroy him. He's gonna do it. I believe it. He's gonna hit him, and he's gonna hit him hard. Hit and hit, hit and crit. There we go. Here we go. Seventeen will hit. He'll do damage. Beautiful, beautiful. Max damage, max damage. No. Nah. Nice damage. Close yeah. to max. These guys are absolute beasts. You can't They're tell me. They're doing great. They're secretly the Elven Special Ops. Yeah, we'll do like that. He opens his mouth and flames of shadow come shooting out at you at a rapid rate. Oh shit. Uh. 
I have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Yay! I'm extremely dexterous for more like extracurricular activities, please. Yes, I am. Very dexterous. Very dexterous. Sandra <laughs> fails. <laughs> no. I take half damage. Still. No, wait, no. I don't I take one because I just um flashing, bludgeoning and piercing, right? Yes. Yeah. This is none of those things. You take a shit ton of damage. That is Verona's up turn. To Owie. You got this! We really don't. <laughs> nope, you got this! Nope, we really don't. Can't hear you. We'll Death in that ear. You got this. Nope, nope. Listen. You're doing we'll very well. You got this. We win. 10 out just of 10. Dude You're doing skull. amazing. Well done. This guy runs don't, over don't, don't close enough to the dragon. Just I'm deaf, the I'm deaf in that ear. Can't hear you. This guy runs over I will. here. Fuck your mother. Fuck. Death can't hear you. Sorry. He goes. Spiritual no! weapon. Oh, I love spiritual Bro, weapon. These dudes are Ronan. These dudes are just Ronan. They are wailing on him, actually. They're, they're... These dudes are OP. Are we going to ignore the fact that it only says barely injured above his name? Because they've done so much damage already. They're doing great. This guy's, like, us to ah, get him on this guy's going to run up. That's my purse. <laughs> it's like <laughs> for Seraph. I don't know you. Yeah, yeah for Seraph. Okay, Seraph, Seraph. Okay, Seraph, Seraph. He's going for it. Fucking inflict wounds. What do these guys no. not know? No. No. That's illegal. How is he? How did he miss? No. I do find it absolutely amazing that you can miss a spell that basically requires you to touch someone. <laughs> like, you you have two hands and you need to be within five foot. You don't need to make an attack roll to grapple someone. Why you got to make an attack roll to touch them with your hands? This guy grapple he them. Uses grapple them all and then he uses his, He uses all of his movement to get up there. What a chad. Honestly, what a chad. That's the first round. You guys are still alive. Putting on the crown early. Super helpful. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. Cyrus, now... He grins at you. And he says... The portal is open. Now I deal with you. And he looks... At you, Cassandra. Touch her and you die. No! Touch her and she dies! Hwa, no, hwa, 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 hwa. No, 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 trust me. Touch her and you will die. Touch her and she dies is what I want. He tries to touch her. He touches her. Hmm. Charlie goes into a rage. I'm down. down. She goes down. He gloats for a minute. And then he starts yelling at his cultist friends. And he's still holding onto the skull as hard as he can. And he says, Verana is the true master of this place. Seraph is a dead god. Bow before your new master. This guy just goes, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> can can, can, can I make a suggestion up. to these dudes? Yeah, you can. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, I'll do it on my time. Okay. Um... You have to remember that these elves were once good and true. 
Mm. And they have sworn to protect against this rift. That must somehow be closed. Yeah. Elven cultist. I mean, he knows his place. Runs up there. They're trying. He's not good enough. Telekinetic. Your woman just went down. It's looking rough. I'm going to shout out. Get the skull! If we get the skull, we can win! And then... Uh, I'm going to attempt to use a potion of healing to help Cassandra. Okay. You can do that. It's an action to do so. Broken action. Let me just do yeah. Potion of healing. Uh, usability, but it's not healing me. So i just got to see how much it does. Max. There. Nice. Ten hit points to Cassandra. Give it to Thank her. You. Okay, plus ten. Would that oh, also gonna... knock her rage? Yeah. I'm then gonna hand her the other vial. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move closer and hand her the other vial. Any other movement you want to take? The nice straight line that you're in. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I'm going to actually. But you end up in this predicament separate myself slightly and come over here. Yeah, so I've handed her the other vial as well. Gotcha. Whenever she wants. Thank you. Thank you. Just to be clear, in my games, using a potion even on yourself is always an action, not a bonus action, because I'm an asshole. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. That is your movement. Action, bonus action, you're good to go. Cassandra, you are unraged. I'm gonna stand up. And I guess wail on Sirius a little bit. Are you gonna rage again? You have a bunch. No. Just hit him twice for now. And yeah. My queen don't need it, you know? You're too strong. Big damage. As I said, she don't need it. She's yeah. strong. She's strong. Yeah, I'm gonna rage anyway, so... <laughs> 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 Just in case I get hit. Good idea. Me. Good idea. Alright. And get out of the line. Okay, well that line is gone. We'll take it off of the. I'll take it off of the screen for administrative purposes. Cultist. This guy heard you yell, "Get the skull!" He's gonna make a wisdom check, see if he can figure out what you're getting at. Please do. Please. Like, please. He's just your average guy. He's like... Please, please do, bro. Please get please get what I'm saying. I'm reaching out to you. Heart no, to heart, it's you know? all up in his religious okay. sacred duty. He's like, must kill Shadow Dragon. I mean... He runs up. We do have a small army around him now, so... It's all good, I guess. This is what he was born to do. He feels like, this is what I was born for! And he... You go, it. go! Slay Queen! Oh, shit. It's going down now. <laughs> He's going after Cyrus. He got the he got the memo. 
He a real one. He a real one. He, he did real. not do enough to take him down, though. He's, he's close, though. He's close. The huge dragon is still a massive, massive, massive threat. The little guys are taking their little toll one thing at a time. He's barely injured now. Gob, he stood back watching all this. What's it going to be, boy? Or me wants to roll a wisdom check to see, but... Nah. You start to take a little look and be like, uh... Hmm, the numbers. What do they mean? Who knows? Ah, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh fuck it, he's there. I'm gonna look at the guy with the skull. And... Your friends have turned against you. You could still leave. But, you know, I don't think you will. It requires intelligence, and you are severely lacking. <laughs> That's right, I should in him. <laughs> oh, still the same damage. <laughs> nice. Oh! He takes that like a champ. He's still standing. He is, like, covered in wounds. How is this dude most uh, the Conqueror is being hassled. Oh, you got bonus action. You got Bardic Inspiration and such. Sorry. Yeah, I was, I was thinking... Uh... I will... Bardic Inspiration... I'll Bardic Inspiration... Fucking telly, fuck it. And end. Mm, okay, okay. So I'll D8 and I'll drop that to 3. <clears throat> All right. Bardically inspire Verana. What? <laughs> hmm. What is he gonna do? He's got all these pesky motherfuckers up on him. You don't want to move, trust me. They gonna hit your ass. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? They're just gonna hit him over and over again, round after round. Why don't Why don't you try and, you know, like, get your way out of the box they're currently encircling you in? No, please tell the creatures. Bye, but tell tell the big creature thing how it can beat us. Please, by all means. What the fuck up, please? No, never. And you complain when I speak. Yes, because when you speak, it lowers the IQ of the room considerably. It just sounds like I'm rubbing off on you. No, you can rub off elsewhere. Mm, I don't need to do that. I hope the dragon uses its breath again. I really do. Trust me, after I'm through with it, it might not be able to move. Hopefully, oh, so that, far should have, that should have been a that should have been a claw, oh, but hopefully. it's the same effect. Just slashing instead of necrotic. We get the idea. It's gonna hit these mooks. Damn! How dare he! Oh, this one stays standing. Heroic. Yeah! What a beast! Oh, 
Verona does not like that. He was hoping to be able to move a little bit. Hold you. Hold you. Can't do shit. Can't do shit. That's all he's going to do this turn. Clawing away the little underlings so he can concentrate on fucking up the rest of y'all. This cultist, he's got his spiritual weapon up. Can you? There was a moth in here. <laughs> he's going to go right up. I actually hate moths and disgusting creatures. Come on, come close. Come close so I can knock you to fuck. Get out of here. I'll, I'll go to the window, sure. You got this, dude. Fuck it. Come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it. <clears throat> He's gonna go. It would have been helpful if we had the uh, other dudes down the bottom, you know? Because then we'd have Albers as well. Bro, he missed. No. And now he's gonna go with his spiritual weapon. Yeah. Come on, I'm spells. confused how you didn't see this. What's that? What? Like, there's, there's where the fucking... There's where the talking skull was, just down here. How the fuck did you not see this? I don't... I honestly don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think this is the power of something called plot. Yes, it's plot armor. <laughs> it's not perfect. It is what it is. You know, they, they, they just weren't set up for the uh, ritual yet, you know? They were still doing the preparations. They didn't have the little uh, candles in the corner yet, so it was all dark. It's a bigger, it's a longer tunnel than you think. It goes for further than you think. That's the way mm -hmm. I prefer to look at it as, anyway. Yeah. Can we still see the skull on the moon? They're losing their mojo, guys. They're not hitting so hard you're really, anymore. You're really bobbing and weaving right now. You've got this, dudes. I believe in you. Complete your holy mission. They're really trying. I'm just gonna, like, constantly just be, like, cheering them on, you know? Moral support. They don't have much left in them, guys. That one does. Oh, that one does great. Oh! Is he enough? Dog should it's not taken him to him. injured! They have taken him to injured. What actual beast? Top of the round, Cyrus is near death. He sees you wearing the crown. He says, you are the true enemy here. If I take you out and the crown falls from your head, who knows what will happen? My followers will become mine again. You can try. Oh, he's going to try. He's going to try to reach out and touch you. Reach out and touch face. Oh. Ah, uh, that's bad touch. That is bad touch. Oh, that is bad touch. Oh, that's terrible. He couldn't touch you, even without the... Is... The power is the power of Sarath, yeah? She's protecting me. She is. Sarath is not a dead god. She will forever be here, protecting us. He howls in frustration. The cultists continue their relentless campaign against the giant fucking dragon. <laughs> You've got this, cultists! Honestly, these dudes are amazing. Oh no! Bro actually got robbed then. He got robbed. Telekinetic. 
The cultists are waning. They are really falling to pieces here. I'm just gonna ignore this dude. He's not worth my time. I have bigger fish to fry right now. I'm gonna move in close. Taking the opportunity to attack. From Cyrus? Yeah. I'm Hold just gonna on. take it. He's gotta move. I gotta have you in range to attack you. It's just limitations of the grid. Yeah. Oh, this is funny. Hold on, my wife is calling me. I was wondering what that screw was. Hello. Hi, I'm still in it, honey. What's up? Almost. All right, honey. I'll talk to you in a little bit. How are you doing? Where are you? Okay. I'll be a little bit. All right, honey. Be right. All right. Uh, where was I? I missed. I got to put him back where he goes. Mm -hmm. He was here or something like that. No, I believe this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm then going to reach out. Put a hand on this dragon and just go. How about you, uh, calm down a bit for me. And I'm going to cast Bestow Curse. Uh, with the curse that, uh, he will... Ah, oh, fuck. No mind, he succeeds. He succeeds. Fuck. That was going to be so cool. I was going to use the one that where, like, every round they have to do a wisdom check. And if they fail, they spend the entire turn doing nothing. That's a good try. <laughs> You are right up on him. You notice he's like squinting his eyes at your crown. Ball, bold move there, Cotton. Um, yes, pretty bold. Cassandra, you've got the guy with the skull is right next to you. He's got a hit point in a dream. That's fine. Another though. reckless. That'll hit him. Don't even need the reckless. You kill him. That point is just crit fiction. Okay. Okay, never mind then. The skull falls from his hand. What do you do? Can I crush the skull with my second attack? It looks like a powerful magic item. You know, as a seasoned fifth level adventurer, that most magic items are nigh on in fucking destructible. Okay. You do see. Here's what you see. You see a big rift in the fabric of space between two realms. You see a dragon. You see the skull. When you grab the skull, you feel as if it is pulling towards the rift. So the skull wants to go into the rift, but what would that mean for the dragon? I don't know. I'm gonna... Can I throw it to Goop? Do you take care of this? I'm gonna go kill the dragon. I'm sure. Gonna... What? Gob, she launches the skull back to you like a quarterback hiking a football. Oh, honestly, that's really hot. And I'll move over here. Okay. Because I have 10 feet to reach. I can okay. hit this one. Wow, that's a bold, bold kill everybody move. I like it. And I'm recklessing it, so can I crit fish? <laughs> Sure, you can crit fish. Go for it. Roll a d20 for me. Nope. I'm going to take some of those points back, so however right. many damage it was, we'll take it back in a second. Okay. So I will take those 12 back. I should probably do this. Sure. Put this on myself so it's basically a 
advantage. Okay. Elvin Cultus. These guys are running out of these guys are running out of space. Um This guy's body is right on the edge of the rift. He is Man, he can't even do that. It's too close. He um He's gonna step forward into the space of his buddy. Execute his attack. He's gonna miss, I believe. Why am I being damaged by a scimitar? You should not be. Take it back. You must have been, yeah, take that back. That was meant to go to the dragon. I'm just going to add uh, those seven hit points back. Yeah, please do. By all means. And then yeah. Verana is going to take an op attack against this guy. Because why waste a reaction? And I'm sure he's going to smoke him with a claw. Will he? Yes. That's a hell of a reaction. Yeah, yeah bro. That guy dies. Just absolutely eviscerated him. Elvin cultists. This guy is in it to win it. Believe in these guys. They're powerful. They're powerful. They're not powerful. They're losing it. They, they dealt a lot. They dealt a lot of damage. They dealt a lot of damage. They're powerful. See, look at this dude. Why well, they just dealt an almighty one damage to this dude? Gob, you are holding the skull. You feel as though it is pulling towards the rift. Is this the skull that guy talked about? Is that, does, does it match any description that you kind of gave us at all? It is. It feels it's the thing that Cyrus was conducting the ritual with. It is a skull. It's encrusted in jewels and it's got runes all over it. It looks like some kind of powerful artifact of magic. You would assume that, yeah, this is a skull that he was talking about. Mm. Your death on harm. Sure, it can't do that. In fact, I could probably do this though. Um, uh, more than sixty foot. Yeah. I'm gonna... At third level... Place Cloud of Daggers... On... Verana. Alright. That's gonna be essentially 5d6 at any given... Uh, 5d4 at any given time, so... You know. Go for it. Nice. 5d4, sorry. 64. Mm. So that persists, correct? Uh, it's mm, concentration. Like every turn as well. So, Isn't it that like, that like every time he's, uh, like every, uh, every time it goes to his turn, if he starts his turn there or something? Yeah, as long as a uh, dragon starts his turn there. Okay, so it actually wouldn't actually happen until he starts his turn, which is going to be immediately after your turn, so that's fine. Uh, let me add, so if fell the air spinning dagger centered upon a point you choose, creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. So, yep, so yep, when his turn happens, yeah. Yep, so... That's an action, and... Let's burn a Bard of Inspiration die and bonus action 
cutting words on the dragon. So if I need to make a save, it'll deduct three. Uh, I'm going to stay behind here because, you know. Ah, uh, yes. Lines. Is there a wall on the way there? No, no. Um, just a slightly more difficult line. But also, you know, it doesn't single me out. Does it, though? Oh, yes. Oh, you, got, you, got, you got to hit them and hit me. He sees the three of you. I feel like that would be uh, a good line for him. Yeah, it's not that well, it depends. No. Is he taking his 21 slashing damage? <laughs> yeah, he just did. Uh, it doesn't happen when you cast a spell and when he takes his turn. No, 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 no. It's because yes, it, he has taken it. his... Yeah, it applied it. Yes. Oh, that's a miss. Beautiful. I like it. I like it when it's a mess. That may hit. Can you do anything to stop it? You did take no, a long rest. No, it won't. That won't hit. The shield not when you take oh, a no, Yeah, well. Oh. It is going to hit. Just. Ouchie! It takes you out. We're going to go to the guy right next to you. Misses that guy. Yeah. And Love then he that. took his damage. He's got this thing of daggers that is fucking him up. One, two, three, four, five. That would be a lot of op attacks, but this. So the cloud of daggers is like five foot cube. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm. It's a case of either take twenty one damage every turn, no matter what, or just take a load or, of. Or risk attack. or risk taking that same amount of damage, just walking away. Exactly. Which he can always just end at the concentration and use it again. So, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. That it is, is beautiful. a wonderfully done spell. That's just Xanathar's as well. He used Hellish Rebuke. He is going he to... If he flies over a bunch of these guys, he doesn't really leave their range, does he? He would, would technically be vertically above. vertically leaving their range. Um, to my knowledge, if he goes up like five foot and then flies over them, it, yeah, you know, the same as going round. If he went any further than five foot by five foot, he would invoke that's how I'd see yeah, it. Yeah, but... he can do a little bunny hop over a bunch of these guys and only really take a couple of opportunity attacks. One, two, three. Three op attacks. And he's going to come for you all, fuckers. And leave that behind. And leave the spiritual weapon behind and take three op attacks from... What do these weapons do these guys have? These guys have daggers. That's not great. So I'm going to move this guy here real quick. He's going to take two op attacks. Dagger. Come on, not good. Oh. Dagger. Oh, come on, guys. You got this. You got this. You don't got it. Yeah. Come on, you got it. One more. You got this. You got this, dude. You got it. I believe this guy. You. Scimitar. Mm. 
No, they did terrible. I mean, it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. He had to get away from that thing. It was tearing him up. I mean, this guy moves his spiritual weapon over, right on top of the dragon. He's also going to run up and just shift his shift his focus. What has this guy got left? Not a lot. Use anything. No, he's still got. You got a lot of mo. Oh, that's going to miss. And then he's going to use his spiritual weapon. We're not going to consume a spell slot because he's already got it up. Oh, he crits with it. Oh, yes. Nice. I love these dudes. They're so good. That just fucked them. Obviously, I lo don't love them anywhere near as much as Cassandra, but they're still awesome. This guy, what has he got left? He's on the ropes. You guys almost have this with the help of... Oh, he's still got one of these at level three. At level two, rather. Upcasting. And he crits! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is going to deal so much damage. 42! <laughs> Brother Amazing. just sent from badly injured to near death. <laughs> no. These dudes are the best. You can't convince me that they're not. Obviously, they're not better than Cassandra. Unfortunately, then. Because, you know, Cassandra's awesome. But this guy. He's out there. I like these dudes. He's out of Inflict Wounds. He's out of second level spells. Um, he's got to have a cantrip. Oh, he's got first level Inflict Wounds. He has. Yes. He can't upcast yeah. it. And also, it would really be lame if uh, an NPC did the kill, wouldn't it? No, it'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah, it'd be amazing. <laughs> I'd love it. I'd love every second of it. I would love every second. He's only got it available at first level. So It'd be their absolute try. redemption. Mm. They would have redeemed themselves in Seraph's eyes. <laughs> Not great. 3d10. It. Still mm -hmm. in it. Oh, uh, he, he did. He did dead. worse. Or no, just better. Than a cultist. Quarter of it. You're saying we can do it. You feel, Gob, the, the pull of the skull and the rift is growing stronger. You, as you're looking at the rift, you see other dark creatures. Um, just for reference. I know how to resolve this. It's okay. Don't worry about this, we are. Don't worry about it. Cultist misses. Cultist, can they do it on their own? T U no. L T. All Give right. Me a Actual Give player me characters, you have a chance to finish the big Give dragon. Give me a T. Give me an I. Give me an Make S. Make a death saving throw, Tally. Give me a T. Tell you, death saving throw, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Crit one, come on. No, you are bleeding out. Oh, no. I Sandra, got this, got it's a, okay. A, a dragon yeah. next to you with very few hit points left. Yeah, I'm gonna just kill it. You go, Cassandra. I believe in you. You need to be able to describe it. So how do you want to do this? Somebody posted, you posted a Matthew Mercer. Wow, that's an old ass that's picture of yeah, from that the very beginning. Old. Well, let me at least hit first. Don't that will at least hit. That will kill. How do you want to do this? I see telekinetic, telekinetic, <laughs> be unconscious <laughs> underground and go 
frenzied rage, even though I can't, I'm just bloody raging because I'm so angry that he's down and I'm just gonna kill him. Like, I'm big, so I'm just gonna bring my great axe up upon my up, up above my head and just cleave it in half. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you cut it Dope. at the neck where his neck meets its shoulder blades, and the first strike at the axe strikes true, and you see a big gout of shadow fire out sideways. It fries a couple of the bystander elves. Yes. And then you go around with a backswing, you kind of switch around the other way, you take its head clean off. Um, as you watch the the elves around, they grab it, they grab its bodily and they drag it and they throw it into the rift. You can see um, this big spatial rift. There are other shapes that are moving towards this tear in the space, the, the fabric of time and space. Gob, what would you like to do? Uh... I'm gonna Please finish this. move on up to here. Where the, feel the, there's still the rift. As you pull, as you get closer to the rift, the pull of the skull becomes ever stronger. It's okay. growing like hot in your hands. If I get the feeling I need to throw the skull in there. That's what I'm getting, so. How heavy is Telly? Could I lift him? <laughs> Wow. Seven feet. Doesn't matter how heavy is he. What do I got to roll to lift this fucker up? Uh, uh, I'm all of a sudden uh, 450 pounds. Come on, yeah. Eric. What, what do I got to roll? Your, what's, what's your strength? Uh, flat 10 on strength. Give me a, give me an athletics check. What do you want to what, describe what you're trying to do? I'm going to just try and pick. I've got to get him out of here, you know? This, we don't know what's going to happen as I throw the skull in here. It could blow up, and then it kills him. You know? We're good. You can pick him, you can pick him up. I mean, you're a, a hobgoblin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no problem. And then take the skull, place it on him, and throw both into the portal. Oh. And just shout, should have been the, nicer. The crown with the, the yeah, heart the of the all tree. Andrew. I'm gonna pick him, throw the, and start walking away. <laughs> I thought I'd be, <laughs> thought I'd give you a little heart attack, but no, I'm gonna take my this fucker, that asshole, woof, throw that in there, you know, like full dunk, you know, like a fucking three pointer. And cool guys don't look at explosions, but he's not a cool guy, so you know his head is, you know, he's back breaking, eyes are rolling back, bleeding out. He's watching the explosion because he's not a cool guy, and no one will ever let him live that down. Because you know, you flip up, you flip up your, you put on your David Caruso sunglasses as you walk away. <laughs> Behind you, like as you start to throw the skull, it's kind of like a normal throw, and it's kind of like as the throw goes forward, it's like the Millennium Falcon going into hyperspace. It just suddenly shoots forward, and the entire rift. Just suddenly, just as wave. I'm just so I know that the cool guy didn't look at the explosion, but the absolute nerd did. Have I used action and bonus action out of curiosity? Sure. Yeah, you use it all. You can do whatever you want now. The combat oh. is over. You've won. You've won D and D. As this is happening, then I'll, you know, about healing world just that it's all going off on a boy, so that way he is conscious to watch the explosion just in your final seconds. So he there's can... actually there's actually no explosion. It's, it's all like, right. Head can and there's it, an explosion. It's there's absolutely no explosion. The skull accelerates into the rift and the rift is just not there anymore. There's sudden silence. And where it was dark with like no stars in the sky and all of this now you see stars starting to twinkle above you hear the call of night birds the elves around you start looking around and um behold i am your guys, savior <laughs> the, 
the guys that are still like they they start rubbing black charcoal off of their face. My God. And they <laughs> they're they're crying. They're in tears. Like, what have we done? Yada yada yada. Um. Eventually, some order comes back into place. Um, it's kind of a bittersweet moment because a lot of elves who once were good got corrupted. They were killed. Shalane comes. Um, you learn that, um, you know, like Cyrus is her cousin. Um, you learn that, like, her sister was Enka. Um, mm. Actually, they're, they're, they're twin sisters. Oh, shit. Sure. Um, Ezos with the Owlbears, Ranner with the, the Alchemist. These were all, like, close family members. There's other parts of the tree that are, like, it's an entire colony of wood elves. And, well, at least the uh, Owlbear dude survived. Yeah. And they, one family member left. They, were, they were enslaved <laughs> by the, the corrupting presence of Verana for millennia, and now he started to break through with this ritual. It would have been bad. It would have brought about, you know, the apocalypse. So you have saved the world indeed. Um... My nice. wife did call. She wants me to come and pick her up in a little bit here. But um, just wanted to say thanks. This was a lot of fun. I love this. I love this specific adventure. I know there's not like a ton of combat in it, but I think it was actually but perfect the for interaction, three players. Very three interaction. Yeah. For three players, That's, it definitely was, was. I feel with four players, potentially that end fight could have went a little shorter, but it was still yeah. good. I, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, nice. cost, but... it's a tough. I really enjoyed this. Well, it's a tough thing to balance the fight. Like yeah. when I have, I've played.